Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil Village. We're getting a bit of deja vu going down this path from uh, how we started last time. But I think one of the outcroppings on the map I saw forked off this path. Yeah, yeah. It was just hidden by the uh, tangly knot of brush. Hello. Oh, it's like this. Okay. I'm I'm picking up what they're putting down. We have no wolf spain ammo. Brilliant. We're gonna get dressed for the party. <laughs> yeah. We're we're uh getting ready to be the bell of the ball of werewolves. <laughs> I'm guessing somewhere up here? Oh. No, maybe I'm gonna be able to get inside before this starts. So we've got a lot of ordnance, a lot of ways to blow the werewolves up. It's just a matter of, of when and where they're gonna ambush me from. Oh, is that Piggy? Oh, it should be scared. This is typically not great. R.I.P., but I love that meat. Thank you, Francis Bacon. Actually, nah, fuck Francis Bacon. That pig was cool, though. Whoa, 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 whoa. God, that startled me. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, uh, uh? Oh no, not another one. Oh, okay. One, two, three, can we get four? We can. We can indeed. Can we go for five? No, he's coming. Oh my god, there are even more in here? Okay. Come on over. Oh! He walked through the fire. That reminds me, I really need to rewatch that Buffy musical again. <laughs> the thing is, that's only my second favorite song in that musical. Oh, that hurt. Oh, we have birds too. Shit. Ah. Come on. Ah. Luckily, we're, we're kind of prepared for this. Um, can I kite him outside, or is he not going to come? Oh, please. What? Okay. We have a problem? Luckily, the sawmill has so many spaces to just play Ring Around the Rosie. But will they? No, they won't even follow me out into the hallway. So we're doing it in this room and nowhere else. Oh my god! We just have to get oh, the damage in where we can. This time, I don't feel nearly as... Oh, nearly as in trouble. This being the third one we fought now, it should start to feel a little bit easier. Oh no. Never feels good to miss with a shotgun. Shotgun ammo is so precious. Oh, 
<laughs> Come on. Oh, I thought he was going to do a bigger leap. Oh, okay. He's got to be getting pretty low. Uh, I'm wondering if it may be time to switch to the grenade launcher, but as long as I still have a few mines left, maybe we can even catch some of the birds. This is a fun fight. Looked like he staggered. This is just... Uh, more encounter design ramping up. The fights are getting pretty fun. Okay. Get another axe. Ah, cool. And there's still a bird, but... There you are. was being quite noisy. I just wanted to enjoy the peace and solitude of the bloody sawmill. Oh, there's still quite a bit going on in here. Plus, there's a treasure that we still didn't get. A treasure. Wait, is that not? Oh. I saw the ammo box and just... Oh, this is why I couldn't open it. I didn't realize there were two locks on it. Holy hell. Holy hell! What is that beeping? <sighs> Wait, is... Oh, that must be the mine on the other side of the wall. That's coming through really loud. Oh, uh, what do we got? Oh. That's another expensive statue. The Duke is going to be pretty pleased with that. Explosive rounds. Hell yeah. Oh, awesome. Okay, so that's how this connects. And now for round two? Yeah. Let him come up the path. If you're not going to come to me, I'm... Okay. Oh, here they come. Come on, all of you at once. Yeah, yeah, do a little dip, dip in and dive and give the back ones, the stragglers, time to catch up. You foolish, foolish lichens. Mm. Oh, no! I am a genius! Oh, no! We didn't even have to use either of those explosive barrels. That was one mine and a couple of handgun bullets. Look what I did to these werewolves with a few drums of gas and a couple of bullets. Oh, do I want to go back in and scour the place for what is likely like three shotgun shells or a flashbang or something? Yes. Oh, and a goat. That's a cute hiding spot for that. This really reminds me of going underneath the, the Baker Manor in 7. Yeah, we'll take a quick look around. And if I spend 8 minutes looking for a glint on the walls, I'll just cut ahead. Oh, wait, no. There's no need to do that. That was really it. What did I say? I think that was even less. I think that was two shotgun shells. Worth it. Um... 
Excuse me? I love the soundscape. Alright, I just had to take care of something real quick. Now we can be on our way. What is the next order of business anyway? Um, oh, it's putting the, uh, the, the final flask in the daughter receptacle. I don't know what you call it. I'm not sure such a thing has a name. It's pretty unprecedented. <laughs> uh, so we're going to head back to the ritual site. Oh, you know the other thing that I should be keeping an eye out for? The phantom fish. I don't think I took a look at this yet, did I? Not a real good look. Where the he- Oh. Wait, it's by a boat. Um... I'm just gonna drop by here real quick one more time. Oh, the drawbridge is up, so we can't go back inside. And I think we already cleared the fish out of here, just... Huh, I'm not sure where that fish is. This isn't a case of, of I already... No, I would... Mm, no. I'm not making that mistake twice. This isn't the white pig all over again. I have definitely not killed a phantom fish. It's my greatest pleasure to see you return alive. I'm... Ah, yes, yes. I'm wondering if they're going to keep playing the Duke straight, because as is, I really like him. But that makes me feel like he's going to betray me in some grand way. As always, a trustworthy, fair exchange. I'm skilled at all sorts of weapons modifications, and will do them for a small fee. Yeah, the finest fish is probably what I get off the phantom fish, so... Sure to be a good once I find that, I'll have the speed upgrade, and then I have everything... Then I'll have everything that I really want. The Giant's Chalice? What? Okay. This is looking like it's starting to be... Mm. Are we heading towards the end game? Also, I can probably lower that drawbridge now, since I have the, uh, the crank from Rose area. Hell yeah, that's really cool. I love the way this village is designed. It's so satisfying to explore. Like, a lot of people put so much time and effort into this. A lot of really talented people, and it shows. Damn! Alright, so do we go forward or backwards first? Uh, this one looks like it leads somewhere into the village. And I have no idea where this route goes. I mean, I'm sure we're not going to be cut off either way, so we're free to go whichever way. Wait, are we coming up behind Dimitrisk's castle? Oh, oh, cool. Any phantom fish? 
It was like bright orange, so I'm assuming it will stand out. Plus, once you once you encounter an animal, I've noticed it seems to mark it on your map. And yeah, no fish. Oh my god, I don't know which way I want to go first. <laughs> uh, let's lower this. It's kind of a miracle how this game ended up being so good. Not because, like, the people who made it are terrible developers. Resident Evil 7 kind of proves otherwise. Uh, but because of how this was impacted by COVID, and also some other issues that it was having when they were able to resume working on it. Um... And, like, sure, the bulk of the development was done before the pandemic, but once the pandemic hit, that just shut production down completely for a long time, and, uh, it was still in a pretty rough state. I finished that item that was requested. Please deliver it to the house with the red chimney. Go through the caves to the ruins, then down into the village. Okay... Uh, the developers were still trying to figure out what direction they wanted to take this in. So, oh, another well. Well, well, well. So, at first, <laughs> at first, uh, the, <laughs> the game had way more enemies who were far more aggressive, but about the same amount of ammo. Like, the amount of enemies and their aggression indicated way more of an action bend, but the amount of ammo still put it more in the camp of survival horror. Uh, and those two were clashing pretty hard. Their internal testing showed that people weren't really enjoying it, so... this That was happening when this game was supposed to be in its final stages. Holy shit. This is an elaborate area under the well. Holy shit. Oh, cool. Uh. Oh, okay. Uh, I think I get the idea. Uh, there was, there was a, a difference of opinion on the development team about how to proceed. Uh, because on one hand, it was already so close to being done, and deadlines were looming, and it basically played fine? Like, it wasn't busted. It was essentially done. But on the other hand, you had a lot of folks from, like, Quality Assurance and other developers saying, this isn't fun right now. It's not enjoyable. Um, and we have to do this right, so this has to be fixed. And they eventually won out. Okay, so we have that down there, and then we just... Lower that. I'm gonna lower some of them around it, just in case I have this wrong. It'd be easier to fix a mistake. Uh, but I think I'm just... Oh, wait. This is actually, I think... Oh, I see. Never mind. Whoops. We're actually raising this up. Okay. Some more explosive rounds. Treasure chest. This makes me happy. It's a large pigeon blood ruby. What is that? Oh, is that for the necklace? Hell yeah. Yeah, we still need another, though. And then neither of the other two are combinables. Do I really care that I missed something up here? Oh, wait, was it just this? No. 
but uh, okay, I'm not that concerned. can't be more valuable than the Pigeon Blood Ruby that we just picked up. So, we're good. And now we can take the boat uh, the opposite way down river. Actually, there's still more to do. I forgot. There's another thing to do here. This was a detour. All right. Yeah, I think this was, oh no. So up the road a little bit. That seems to be the main event. Hello? Shit. <laughs> okay, so then it's through here. Well, it's lit up, so that makes sense. Oh, there's going to be another one. That's fantastic. And this loops around to the vineyard? Wait, am I... Wait. Oh, no, not another one. Damn it. I thought we were done with these. Okay, that was, that was kind of painless. What about this other one? Yeah! Oh, God, that's relieving. Got some Maroikas. Haven't seen y'all in a while. Oh, there's another one. There's always another one. All right. So is it just the one of you? Excuse me? Oh, okay. That's cool. Was it possible to set the ones that we fought earlier in one of the, the brazier rooms on fire? Or is this just a unique case where you can immolate them? For the, for the sake of the puzzle. Oh, and here's where they would crawl out of infinitely if you kill the first one, or the second one, or whatever. Huh. It's just a golden statue of Lady Dimitrescu. And a magnum bullet. We take those. And this one's clear. So then, wait, where does that put the merchant? relative to this location. Oh, I guess we might be... Mm, I don't know. Oh! 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 Okay! I didn't have myself oriented geographically. Cool. Okay, now we'll head back down river and Oop. see what we find. Looks like a dead ends pretty quickly. I think we uh, did. We see some of these bridges uh, from the hill path up. Going up to uh, uh, Donna Benevientos. When we cross that long bridge in the mist, the long suspension bridge. Oh, wait, I recognize this. Uh, so the Phantom Fish is nearby. Uh, it's in the. It's, it should be around here. Yeah! 
Oh, and there's even an extra. We got bonus fish. Finest fish. Finest fish. Come on, friend. Don't do this to me. Ooh, two for one. Okay. Okay. So what else are we going to find here if that was, uh, if that was the appetizer? Hmm? Where the hell is this? What? Whoa. Whoa. What the fuck? Oh, this is a nice weapons cache or a mini boss fountain. Antique coin. Hell yeah, foregrip. Where is that? I have to organize. Ah, oh, there it is. I have to organize off screen. It's getting messy. DNA sequencing complete, 99.95 .95 match to Dolvi Mutamycete. The deviation of 0.05% can presumably be attributed to artificial change by humans, which means this is probably the source. Further investigation into how the connections managed to find and extract the mold is needed. So this was the source for the mold in Louisiana. There, the fungal colony is spread out under the village. When you take the Baker incident into account, the hosts of the Mutamycete are part of a network of consciousnesses. If that network is linked to here, then we could assume the organism here is data storage? If that's the case, then what data is Miranda after? Oh, cool. They're doing a, a neat thing with, like, um, uh, tree networks and mycelial networks and distributed consciousness. Which is kind of a thing that plants actually do. Like, forests have a kind of distributed consciousness. Hopefully that took out a good chunk of them. Uh, didn't do as much as I wanted. We cool? Looks like we're cool. Okay, that was a, a bit of an interesting lore dump. I don't know if it really changes anything, which is why I call it just a lore dump. What? Oh. Okay. Manus. Father of the Abyss. So it's... I mean, that's essentially what, what uh, Evelyn turned into at the end of Seven, right? An enormous mold tree growing out of the Baker house. Huh, okay. That's quite neat. Quite nifty. And are we done here? If so, all we have to do now is return to the Duke, turn my fancy fish in. Do a little bit of organizing, selling treasure, shopping, any new upgrades if anything became available. Uh, and then we will rejoin to head further into the ceremony site and place the chalice. Uh, but I think that's going to do it for today's episode. Thank you all for watching. Um, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, all of YouTube's ever-mounting pile of bullshit.
please appease the algorithm. Uh, it helps the channel. Also, check the links in the description, like the links to my Patreon, patreon.com slash scribe. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one, y'all.